on 20th February, Delhi recorded the third hottest February day since 1969 at the Safdarjung Observatory. According to the IMD, the primary reason is the lack of strong western disturbances for the early onset of heat over northwest India. Western disturbances are storm systems that originate from the Caspian Sea and move across the Afghanistan-Pakistan region to bring rains across northwest India. In the winter months, 4 to 5 disturbances travel on an average with a life cycle of 2 to 5 days. These are responsible for replenishing water in the northern Indian region in the form of snow and precipitation. This month, feeble western disturbances have led to some precipitation in Jammu and Kashmir, but temperatures are 5 to 7 degrees above normal in Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh. On February 15th, the strongest temperature anomaly was observed in the plains of northwest India and hilly states. There was an anticyclone near the surface level of the earth which was centered over northern parts of the Arabian Sea and adjoining northwestern parts of Gujarat. This high pressure pushed the air down and enhanced the inflow of dry winds from northwest into India. Since a strong western disturbance has not been seen in some time, this dearth is also contributing to the temperature spike in North India. In March last year, the warmest recorded in the country since 1901 the heat had caused a decline in the size and quantity of wheat yields the rainfall was 71% lower than its long time average of 30.4 mm because of this experience this time the government is releasing its reserve wheat stock in the market to control already escalating wheat prices A government advisory has also told farmers to add mulch material in the space between two rows of vegetable crops to conserve soil moisture and maintain soil temperature. In December, there was a country-wide rainfall deficit of 14%. The northwest, central and east and northeast India were particularly dry with 83%, 77% and 53% deficit in rainfall respectively. only the southern peninsula region received 79% excess rainfall in that month in january and february 27 out of the 36 states and union territories received deficient large deficient or no rainfall from january 1st to february 15th 2023 The decline of the La Nina conditions by March April and the development of El Nino conditions later in the year could also mean further rise in temperatures and subsequent heat waves. Due to this El Nino, the 1.5 degree Celsius barrier could be temporarily breached for the average temperature anomaly in 2024.